break off the front or split down the middle? Just fold it under or? It's not that thick. Yeah. Solid cast. Yeah, I can't. It didn't fold under, it just had a crack in it. Uh -huh. You can no. every day at the beginning of your shift. Yeah, it's working. Where? Where? Oh, yeah. Big turn. Sit down. Why didn't you do this? Yeah, I don't think it'll move. I don't think it'll move. Oh, I don't think it'll move.
So Dave, when you push on the left pad, what happens? This whole machine swung that way. And if you push on the right one? Huh? That way. And when you, what do these levers here do? The left hand is the crowd. The crowd just stick in and out. Crowd out, retract back. Meaning it's going to push the shovel out and then come back in. And the left thumb, when you had your bucket in the bowl and you swung around, you let little kids squeeze that and the door would fly open. Yeah, at the bottom of the... And 120 tons of rocket would come fly out. That was our favorite. <laughs> so if you see at the back of the bucket there, that's actually a lid light. So when it lifts, it's closed. And then it gets up so tall or so high and it would say it's got enough dirt in it. You would hear it actually you would hear a sound like beep beep. So, no. See, Not on this. Okay. You, just, you knew when it was full. So when it was full, then he would go over to the right or left, whichever direction he needed to. And then he would push the button and the door would then open up and everything would drop out that was inside of it. And that could fill three railroad cars with one bite. Opportunity to see you just as a person who actually now. ran the shovel. Yep. Here we go. Put these in center. Right there. Straight up and down. Okay. Got the air is off, so somebody left the air off. Here's the brakes. You release the swing brake, the crowd brake, and the horse brake. And you blew the whistle real loud with that thumb over there. Squeeze it. Like that. That blew the whistle. You look around, everybody's out of the way, and you started digging. Your right, your right hand would raise it up. When you got it full, well, you'd push with your right foot. Right foot, yeah. And that would swing it over. And then whenever you, whenever you got ready to dump the load, you squeeze, squeeze that. Questions you'd be happy to answer. set the bucket down very similar like it is now. Uh -huh. A little further back so the rope would be perfect for it. Yeah. Straight up and down. And you would, there's a button in there, they have to take the cord out there and hook on the bucket from uh, here. And uh, you'd push a button in there uh -huh. and that would raise that thread bar up and up there for you to get the pin out. Yeah. And uh, then you would hook on to that. Uh, it was uh, the same. Yeah. yeah. And pull it out. Yeah, it's on the it elevator. It goes back inside here. Yeah, and, and, the, and the, the and thing you, that you, you actually ride on. Then you would have to manually yeah. uh, yeah. get that winch. You should. Like, you should. In order to it's actually pull the exact same thing as the classmate. Yeah. With some big scratch blocks and stuff. And, and, uh, but if you caught it, you know, when it just started to break, uh -huh. it wasn't as bad because you just put your winch right on the end when it went out and had a Beckett loop on it and let it pull the winch line through. All right, yeah. Same way on the horse ropes. If some, some horse ropes, we had one that broke in the house once and spreads the wire went everywhere. Well, we, when I was a kid, we used to go all the way to the top. Behind the horse drums is a flat out of a trap door. Put a winch line down through there. Not a winch line, a cable. Yeah, 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 a cable. Yeah,
cable yeah. down through there and hook it on to the badger. This is the crowd. Here, modern school. 